Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to part 3 of episode 8 we're on, of Take Free Envelopes, where we was just making a basic, no kits, no fancy um, journal, so we've got it all together, we've got our pockets, front and back and then the cover if you remember was like a um, jiffy envelope the ones with the bubble wrap inside we just cut it out if you will if you haven't seen parts one and two go back and watch them because yeah that was us sorting it all out and now we're at the fun part where we can start decorating so the first thing I want to do is cover up my spine so, I've got this really lovely thick ribbon from um, my friends at Kit. Hello love, if you're watching. So, I'm just going to snip. These ain't my fabric scissors, but the reason I wanted to do that is because it's wired. I don't want to mess up my um, decent scissors using them to cut wire. So, I'm not going to needing it wired for this so I'm taking it out um, just to make it more pliable um, on the cover and then we can snip down this once we've got it in position so welcome welcome if you're new here welcome for the first time I'm really pleased for you to join me I hope everybody's doing well right, I'm just seeing roughly where I want this to go I'll line up those diamonds on the straight edge there and then it will just come round like that so let's grab some glue that I've lost the lid for so I'm just gonna poke a bit of an hole because I think oh that's it I'm gonna need to All right and so yeah I hope everyone's well doing fine um, I don't know whether it will notice, I'm hoping it will, I'm on a new camera, um, I've been supposed to try it out over the last week, um, but I've been poorly, so yeah, I do apologise that part three isn't coming as quick as I would have liked, but um, oh, I've been so poorly, now, it wasn't Covid or nothing, I've just had like... Um, well, like the flu, really. All I've been able to do is sleep and, um, yeah, that's about it. Just sleep. <laughs> Just sleep. I've not even been um, managing, yeah, to eat much or anything like that. Um, I'm feeling fine now, so I am back. But, yeah, I, oh, it's been rough. It really has. Like that. Where am I? Am I at the front? No, this is the front. Just to straighten that a bit before I lay the final bit of glue down. So, yeah, I'm liking that. Um, before I lay the last bit of glue down, I'm just reaching over, sorry. So, yeah, I'm on a new camera, which I hope will make a difference to my filming, to my videos, so that they're not, um, don't go out as blurry and that when I'm moving about. Right. I'll trim it again a bit nicer once we're, um, it's fully glued on. So yeah, I've been meaning to film for over a week, um, but yeah, oh, I was hit really bad yeah with illness i couldn't get out of bed i couldn't speak didn't have no voice at all even towards the end when i was starting to feel better that was when my voice completely went so like yesterday and the day before i was feeling a little better as well particularly yesterday i was starting to feel better um and I managed to stay awake pretty much the whole day. I fell asleep and had like a nap in the afternoon for about an hour. But that was good compared to how I had been 
where I'd been just asleep pretty much it felt constantly um, and then but my voice had gone so I couldn't feel or nothing I just didn't, still didn't feel great if I'm a little bit sniffy and bunged up I do apologise <laughs> I'm pretty much there but yeah obviously I'm still a little bit under the weather but I'm nowhere near where I was you know so yeah this um, feels pretty normal to me today and I really wanted to get this done I didn't want to leave it with a right long gap but um and also I I um was itching to try out this new camera and I've got a new setup like with it positioned so I'm hoping when I'm doing all this that we're not going in and out of focus so oh I wanted to tell you about a shop on Etsy I bought this gorgeous fabric and some other trims as well. This one I bought. Um, and as you know, I normally, most of my trims like that are from my dear friend Zakir on eBay. She's got her shop. So I will link that down below because most of the um, stuff is from her. But this and that other one are from a shop on Etsy called Nick Knack Nook. And really reasonable. And I think this, like I've cut that out of that strip and it fits perfectly on there. So I'm going to have that as a big pocket. But before I attach that, I want to do some fringe around the bottom and I've got this lovely gold from my friends Akir so I'm going to use this and I'm going to go all the way around the bottom with that so making sure what's the outside oh yeah that's right so yeah we're going all the way around the bottom with that because it is gorgeous and then once that's on I can put on my lovely pocket because I just it fits perfect so I'm over the moon that it, it's just the right size and I think it's going to look adorable on here so that's what's going to be the main focus of the front and so I thought I've got to give a shout out like because to a little fellow Etsy store because those little shops um, don't often get a lot of um, advertising so yeah if you if you like what you see go and look on Nick Knack Nook because she's got quite a lot to choose from this isn't sponsored or affiliated in any way I don't know the people who, who the shop belongs to or anything all I know is I found stuff that I really like that was reasonable so there you go that's why I'm giving them a little shout out Right, I'm really liking that so far. Yeah, this is going to sit like that, so it takes up most of the front. But I've got a little bit that I want to cover that stitching, or even butt up close to that stitching. And oh, I've got to find what I did with it. It's, it's one of Zach's little ones. Um, right. I've got a whole thing in here of all lovely stuff. Here it is. I knew I'd, I got it out. Especially. Because it don't belong in that one with all the goldy kind of ones and multicoloured. But, yeah, I think that looked really nice going along there. It's not too much. But, yeah, it's just what I want. So, let's cut off like that. And yeah, I'm just going to have that going along there. And then we've still got the lovely frayed edge poking out, which is cool. And so yeah, I hope everyone is well. It, um, yeah, it's been a bit of a non-week really, because I've been asleep all the time. Um, oh, and there's been things going on that are just to make you want to stay asleep around here. Um, but yeah, we're all fine and everything. And then, um, yeah, today, my youngest boy went and got himself run over. Don't worry, he's fine. But um, he's, that he was out 
with his mate and um, in the like work truck thing and it went a bit sound sounded a bit like something had blown underneath so he got under it to have a look and then told his friend to rev the engine and we've all done it at one time or another it slipped into gear and run over him and it's a three and a half ton truck but luckily for him he's just got out of the hospital so he didn't have to stay in or nothing because he's not got hardly any injuries which is lucky he's got a um a really badly grazed up knee with torn ligaments inside and then he's like got fractured in his one of his hands and one of his feet but um oh it could have been so much worse because yeah it's a three and a half ton truck and um yeah it was empty thank the lord because if it would have been loaded up it can hold another few tons and so yeah if or if it would have been if he would have been positioned differently and it would have gone over his head or his tummy or something he could have been so much badly injured but yeah he got away with a couple of fractures and a few torn ligaments which oh, I am thanking the Lord today because I, I was worried sick. Right, I've got another little trim that I want to go across the top from my dear friend Zach. Look at this, how beautiful it is. It's so lovely and it's so lightweight. There's nothing to it, but look at that, how that sits on there. That is just so pretty. I'm going to go right up to the top so you'll see a bit of the... Um, what's it called um fraying but it'll still go right round the ribbon at the top and that and just make it look more polished and finished so right i'm quite happy for that bit and um, that's it to sit like that so this is coming along so fast and I don't know, other people use different stuff. I find sticking fabrics and trims, Fabri-Tac, it's on there for life. It, well, that's what it seems like to me. I use it doing the covers of the journals that I keep, not just ones that I sell. So I know how long I've had them and that none of it, nothing's going nowhere. So, yeah, I just, I really highly do recommend it because it m makes a really quick job. I'm just securing that little bit at the end. And um, yeah, it does a really neat job, a really quick job, fast grab. And um, it stays. So I highly recommend. It's my favorite for for doing this kind of thing and don't it make a job nice and quick and easy right just coming around right along that top edge and back just oh that middle bit ain't got as much glue that's it and then once i've got it in position where i cut again at this end I am going to put a little dab of glue there just to stop anything coming off of the row of stitching that's holding the trim together and ain't that beautiful already I just I'm loving how it looks and how quick we're coming along so right I can put them away so I've got this lovely bit here that I'm going to use as a pocket and what I done was when I cut it off on the sewing machine I just went over with a zigzag stitch um, at each bit, each side um, just to protect it from all unravelling and fraying but yeah I'm just going to stick that on like that and we can have a nice big tag in that front pocket 
and yeah I think that will look lovely I was really really pleased to find this shop because um, yeah she had a few fabrics that I liked I only bought this one and a couple of bits of trim because um, yeah money don't sort of grow on trees does it <laughs> but I favoured about 100 different things for me to go back to because um, yeah it was right up my alley with everything I love so yeah it was a really really lucky and lovely find and they delivered really quickly so it was really good like custom service and everything was great so I thought I've got to share them on here and don't that look lovely and we can fit a nice big tag in there and the front is finished really so we'll come round to the back and I've got this little bit here that I want to cover up maybe something else um, right I've got this lovely one from my friend Zach I could use or oh that's the one I got from Nick Mac Nook so that might be an option that looks quite nice actually yeah I think that might be an option uh, that's another one of Zach's but no I think we'll go with that one um so that, if I snip there, and that will fit in nicely like that. So that's what we're going to do. And then the cover is done. Oh, how cool is that? It was done so quickly. And then we can start working on the inside. Right. So yeah, I really, oh, I've got my fingers crossed that I get on well with this camera because this is the first time I've used it. It was tried out for about two seconds when it came and I thought, oh yeah, that seems all right. But then I felt ill, so I didn't want to film that day. I thought, oh, I'll film tomorrow. And then I just got worse, <laughs> worse and worse. And so... I've jumped straight in. In my head, I was going to film the final, like, part three with the other camera and then just do a test run. And I then I forgot because I've been in bed for a week. So, right, that's a lovely pocket. I think I need a bit of glue on that corner. Right. Perfect. Right, so that is the outside all done and unless I want like a tassel or something which might be an option I'm not sure and now we can start doing a couple of bits on the inside mm. right before I start making any pockets or anything if you remember back to last time which probably won't because I'd pretty much forgot I had a mark here that I'd made once I'd put it together um I think one of the kids did it put something on it so I'm going to cover that up with this flower and it doesn't hinder getting in and out of the pocket but yeah it's glue I can't get rid of it so the only thing to do is style it out and pretend that it was always supposed to be there by covering it up with something else. <laughs> and then, yeah, we're just getting away with it because, yeah, it needs covering. And I thought about different things and I thought, you know what? Just going to stick a nice flower over it. And I think that looks lovely. And like I said, it doesn't hinder getting to the pocket at all. So we're all good. Right, so we've got a nice big pocket there. 
which I'm going to want a nice big tag in the front there but I think I want to do some pockets in the journal like I said I haven't used any kit it's just all papers that I've dyed um, myself bits and bobs that I've done these are from an adult colouring book and they just take dyes just really lovely so yeah that's what I've done just all different techniques different um, bits so like I really love these colours and I've just seen I was looking at um, scraps of card and paper I think this will look really cool on there or there and I think I'll have it that side I need to grab the cutter and I'm not obviously I'm not gonna have it that deep or not obviously I could have done couldn't I but I'm not right so it's gonna be about there and then once that bit's cut I'll cut how deep I want it and that'll be a nice tag somewhere it's not going to be the front one, I don't think, but look, one, that that's the kind of size I'm thinking of a tag, or maybe a couple of tags. So yeah, we could do that, need to um, have a think. And then, put that bit back. And yeah, I was thinking of having it about there. I need to just look. Right, if I line that up perfectly. Oh no, it is straight. Is it straight? Just a little bit off of being straight. <laughs> so, not straight was the answer. But yeah, there you go. So. I'm going to have that there like that. I might round, mm, I was just going to say I might round the bottoms and put some trim across there, but then I'll, no. Um, I might, I might leave the top straight. Do I, want, I do want a bit of trim down that bottom, so I'm not going to do anything to it. We'll just stick this on. Mm. And yeah, then I can add a little bit of something down the bottom. And there we are. Right. And yeah, I want a little bit of something down there. Um, thinking I saw some pom-poms. I don't know if this is enough, it's a little off-cut. Right, so if I want from there, would it be enough? I don't want to stretch it beyond its... It, right. It's sort of, yeah. I think I can just about get away with it and that bit and then, let's see it's, see it's got to sit comfortably that yeah once it's straight I'm worried about sort of crossing the line of having it straight or stretching it straight you know and I was worried I was stretching it but um, I wasn't I wasn't putting any tension on that at all and it seemed to fit perfect which was really handy okay so again right at that edge and at that edge right and then I just need to hold it and press it down Right. And 
and she's got a nice bit of pom pom and a pocket. So I'm going to have to wrap a tag or something for in there. Right. Oh, I found another off cut that I really do want to use. I'm hoping it's the right, yeah. I was hoping that it was the right length. And it is. Maybe there and as a tuck. There's a mark just there though. Mm. I might have to trim this down. Can... I don't know what that is. But I can't get it off. Oh no, that's really a shame because I really want you to use that. I really like it. And there's another little, no, the other little bit when it comes straight off. I wonder with a rubber. No, nothing's happening. Unless I put a little something there. How much would I need to come off? I need the very slightest little bit. I could put a little bit of something there, little gold. I haven't, don't know if I've got gold flower. I'm just making things up as I go along, but because I want it. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know if I've got gold flower, but something gold I have got. I know I've got something. It's just knowing what. So I need to have a little look. Right, so I've had an idea. Instead of having it there, I'm going to have it on this side somewhere. Yeah, there fits nice. There fits perfectly. And along that edge, I'm going to have a trim. And I've got this from Zach. How amazing is that? It is absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah, that's going to be what I want. Oh, it is. Right. So I'm rounding that corner. I'm up bound in the bottom one as well. Let's look the right way up. I think I'll keep the bottom as a square. Um, I don't know if I've got any red ink. So I'm just going to ink around the edge. And I don't think I have. No. Right. Oh, I'm just going to... It's not red, but it'll just take the white edge off. It's like a pinky purpley, but it's just taking off that white edge. That's all I want. Mm -hmm. Right. And I love this. This was from a bigger card, um, which I've used and used. Um, and like, but just tried to use little bits and hang on to it as long as possible. Because I really adore it. Um, but yeah, this is the final piece. But I knew this size had come in handy somewhere. And it makes a lovely long tuck, don't it? End to end. Or top to bottom. Right. There we go. Right, that is lovely. And don't worry about the dark mark because I'm going to have that going from top to bottom. It's lovely mirrors. Right. Mm, cutting in there. Right. And that's going to cover it up. And isn't that beautiful? I can see a little, little smudge on the top mirror. That's it. I've done it. And like what I did with the other trim, I'm just putting a bit of glue where I've cut on the ends. And it will just stop it fraying and keep it looking how it's supposed to. Right. Mm like that love it 
I'm, I'm getting very gluey though. And then that is going to go on there, bump up a bit like that. And, and that gorgeous. And you can get this from my dear friend Zach. I will list her shop below. It's not on Etsy. She's on eBay. And Mole 2800. So A N M O L 2800. And she don't just do um, trims like this, like ethnic, boho, whatever style you want to call it. Call it rather. She's got lovely laces and um, just beautiful, beautiful trims in all different styles and colours. Um, yeah, the most beautiful, like sort of fringing and like this. Look how lovely that is. That just totally sets that off. Adds that little tiny dark mark and just makes it really special. We've got a lovely little tuck. So just make sure I'm not gluing the whole journal together. And yeah, I'm really happy with that. I think it's lovely. Apart from it looks a, it looks a bit like it's on the wonk. Let's just let's just get straight here. That's better. Because it looked right on the wonk, I was worrying, but no, it's fine. Right. So we've got a couple of little ones done. And yeah, this is I won't do part four, but I will be decorating this in other videos. But we've made it now. You've seen how you can easily get a journal. We've got 48 pages in there with that one signature. And we've just made it from three envelopes. And it's really sturdy. And that ain't going nowhere now. And that is a lovely, lovely looking little journal so far. I'm really happy with it. Right. So... Where was I going to go next? I was going to go here, when I? Or there. So I need to have a little think. What I'm trying to do is use up stuff that is in my scraps. Because otherwise it just sits there and the pile gets bigger. And I do my best to shrink the pile by when I'm crafting with the children. Unless they want something specific that they need to look in my... Oh, I didn't do that thing in. That they need to look in my rack of um, 12 by 12 papers. Unless they need something specific out of there. We go for using up out of the scraps bin. Because it was getting ridiculous. I couldn't put a lid on it. I had to make a second one. And then that's when I thought... Hang on a minute, girl. You're mental here. You need to use stuff up, especially on pockets and tags and card making with small children. So I'm going with black because I'm thinking I can do something on here that will make it look amazing. Um, what, you ask? I'm not sure. But <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm just eyeballing it really and I'm sure that will come in handy I know I'm ridiculous I know really I should be just chucking it in the bin but I do use little tiny amounts which is my defence um, <laughs> right so yeah I'm going to use that side that side looks a bit right and mm, that could be straighter. It's not wonky as in thingy, but a bit, it's not crisp cutting. I think I need to replace my blade, which I will do. Right, I'm thinking we could stencil on there with, um, what's it face? Um, that stuff, Gilda's wax, that's it. I'm just grabbing. Gold Gilda's wax right here, and uh, oh, I also need to grab my stencils. Oh, right, new camera, not sure 
if I've just filmed myself or if I just haven't, um, <laughs> what have I just done? I just did this um, with this beautiful trim from Zakir. Um, I don't know if I filmed it or not. So if I didn't, that was what we just done. <laughs> and then I rummaged and got out this because I was thinking of... I know, I was, I was coming in, mate. Yeah, I was thinking of doing something there. And I've got out my gold gilders wax. I'm just going to pop the journal out of the way. And I want to stencil something lovely with gilders wax. No, I want something a bit smaller. Or a bit different. <laughs> um... Oh, those leaves might look nice, like a block of leaves. Yeah, uh, I think I like that. Because, um, yeah, I can have them. Do they go up that way? Yeah, oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, um, yeah, we can have them. And then I can do a little bit of trim, maybe, at the top and the bottom. Because... We do like it, and I'm going to want a bit of paper. I'll use this bit that I had the um, Epsy Lady on. Right, and then I've got to come up a little bit. And I need, oh, was my head in shot then? Oh, I really don't know. I'm using a new camera, do please bear with me. Um. Because I'm not sure whether you just fi I just filmed me bun on top of my head. If I did, I do apologise. I might... <laughs> or, if I've just cut to this bit, it's because just now I filmed to the top of my head. So, yeah, I'm just sticking that stencil down. And uh, uh, I'm going to use a bit of... Gilders wax. I'm not going to use the sponge because you don't get as much control. I'm going to brush it on or dab it on. Right. Right. Yeah, dab in like that. And yeah, I'm just trying to make sure I'm not sticking my head in front of the camera because I've got a different mount as well as the different camera um, which brings it nearer to me because um, the other one was further away and I would film on zoom um, but yeah I think that's I don't know that might be why I kept going in that focus all the time I'm not sure but I needed a new one anyway oh I need to move that bit of washi. Get out of it. Yeah, just to get under there. Oh, nearly. Right. A little bit more along there. And hopefully... looks nice and I'm gonna do a bit of trim at the top and at the bottom but yeah for now I'll just pop all of this out of the way right and then I've got to think about what we're having I think I know what I want across the bottom I've only got a little bit of it left but look how beautiful that is. Isn't that absolutely stunning? We're going to have that. Um, I'll use these scissors. And I don't know if you can see again. It That end bit was glued. And so I'm just doing that now. 
um, so that nothing comes undone. With these type of trims, like the beading might come loose or something like that. Um, it's not the quality of the trims, it's the style, how they're sewn on, all the beads. Um, they're just so beautifully done. Right, let's see how far that come up to. It comes up to ju just past that light green one, so we need to get glue in here. Just so that it all stays nice, and then like this end is glued, and I can there'll be glue there, and so that means I can still save that last bit, and then yeah, I'll have to be getting on eBay and ordering some more because this is one of Zach's trims, and you've got to admit it, she's got some beautiful stuff, ain't she? And um. Uh, I'm an addict. I, can't <laughs> I need help. I can't stop myself sometimes. I'm like, uh, if I see a gap in the little um, stash box, that's it. I'm ordering. I can't. I can't stop myself because it really is all so beautiful and just enhances your projects. Like from there to right up there, every time really does. I love things like that. Like that other little new shop that I just discovered, Knickknack Nook. And I like the name. Knickknack Nook. It's a nice little quick, <laughs> little quick funky name, isn't it? Right, and now I need something going across the top there. Maybe a bit of fringe. I might have a... I'm, sorry, I'm, I'll bring it up here. I'm just... This box is my gold and multicoloured box. So, I want something smallish going across the top there. Mm. That's nice. That's another one of hers. Um, most of them are. Oh, that. That might be a, a winner. Because, again, like that bottom bit's multicoloured, but then this has got multicolours in. So, that might have been one, or um, I don't want it huge. Um, I did have a tiny one, but I'm not sure. I think I must have used it all, like a tiny fringe. But, um, oh, I've just moved the light. We'll go with this one. I've not used it before. It's one of the new ones that I just ordered. And again, that is so pretty. Right, I need to straighten up this edge. Right, that's it. And you heard like a did I don't know if you did here, like a crunch as I cut it. And that's because of the glue that I always put on the ends. Right, nice bit of glue up here. And right. That is lovely. Just line it up with the top. Um, like that. Right. I'm going to put a bit of glue on there so it all stays nice for next time. And then wipe the glue off my scissors. <laughs> um, right, that's it. And now isn't that fancy? Just a little plain bit of black paper and now it's all gold and blingy and fancy look at that that is just perfect I do I this is proper going back to my little roots this just no kits no nothing apart from a load of colour and yeah just starting with each page just with splashes of colour it was all white paper 
like different sizes and scraps and things. A couple of pieces was, there was one bit of sheet music and a couple of pieces of um, adult colouring book. But I've used my vegan um, colours, alcohol ink colours that I make myself. Um, I used some splashes of just um, really weak watered down paint and like acrylic and just that I would normally use with the kids just really watered down and splashed about or like just alcohol inks and then water added while so that they it just made all these different effects so this is what I used to do before ever using a kit or anything like that and I love it I really love doing this right so we're there right I think we'll do one more pocket or one more something don't have to be a pocket right we could have something coming across going up maybe that might be a nice idea let's see what I've got that might fit from scrap oh I've got a bit of gold there I didn't know I had um, yeah, now we're going from there. My, oh, one of the kids, well, not one of them, a few of them. I've had my pencils out, broke them all. Right, I'm going to mark there roughly. I can see it. Um, where's the top of the page? It's up there, so about there. I'm going over in an angle. Right. Oh, actually, I should have that page open. So that, that, that wet glue, oh, it hasn't stuck to the other page, but I'll keep it open just to dry. Right. So I was kind of thinking... Of doing something like that. And that will sit there. No, it won't. I was going to do it over here, wasn't I? It's going to sit there. Like that has got to come just a touch. And that's it. Right. So I'm going to have it there. Oh, I'm going to have something coming along. We're going to have to have a little think. Right. So I'm going to have that like that. Um, and I'm going to have this coming over like that, right at the edge. And it's going to be like a diagonal pocket. And I could even put something on there, on there like a flower or something. But... Um, right, before that, I'm going to around the edges. Right. And I don't know what I did with the other gabba. It's probably in the box of inks because I just knocked all that over when I paused a minute ago. So, well, when I think I paused, so I don't know if that was on camera or not, but yeah, I knocked the box over and then I've just shoved them back in quick because, <laughs> because otherwise they'd be all under my feet. Right. But yeah, I had another brush, um, dabber. Right, so that is going to go like that. No fuss or frills. It's got a couple of bits of thread on it. Because it was just out of the scraps. Right. And yeah, we're just going to have that like that. And then maybe a flower or something here. Or, oh no, I've just thought of something. 
or I could cut something out. Mm. I'm wondering if I could die cut. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Right. <laughs> oh, I wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure if I turned the camera back on or not. I've cut out some butterflies. So I'm thinking they'll look nice like that. And you'll see um, colour coming through when there's stuff in the pocket. So a nice little simple touch. But yeah, I thought it would look a little bit different. But yeah, I wasn't sure if I had the camera on or not. So I don't know how this is going to turn out. I hope it turns out nice. Um, but yeah, I really hope I've done the right thing. And getting this new camera will up my video game. You know what I mean? Like we all try and be as best as we can be. And I know I'm a donut and that a lot of the time. But... Yeah, I did want to try and make my videos better by filming on a better camera. So I really hope I do get the hang of it rather soon. Right, so that is going to sit like that. Nice and simple. And, right. And so... I'll just get this done and then I think I'm going to leave it for now. Ooh. And go and have a little rest because, yeah, I've really been through it the last week so I don't want to um, overdo it today and set myself back because it's the first day I've felt um, quite normal. Well, not as normal as I can be. <laughs> but, yeah, it's the first day, so I really don't want to overdo it. Yeah, that's going to be a nice pocket. Let's slide something in there with a different colour. Yeah, look, see? Hello, butterflies. They show up more like that. That's cool, isn't it? Right. Right, so what have we done? We've made the lovely cover... Um, we've got a little pocket there, lovely gilded one there, and that there, and then at the back somewhere, that one as well. So, as you can see, it don't take long to get going and get a journal together just from scraps and that, you know. So, um, yeah, go and check out my friend Zach and these people as well, Nick Nack Nook, because um, between them, you've got just such a world of choice, it's unreal. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I just want to say, um, this week something really terrible happened um, where I live. Um, a young guy um, was stabbed and killed out in the street um, just right next to where I live um, leaving his partner of 11 years and four young children and it was his baby little daughter's twin second birthday on the day that he went out to some noisy teenagers asking them to keep it down and well his neighbour had gone out and asked him to keep it down another man and then he went out because they was starting on the man he went out to sort of go to his aid and got stabbed and killed on the spot um, there is a GoFundMe for him and his family and um, I'm going to link it below because um, he was a lovely guy, a lovely family man. He had his own little plumbing business, providing for his family and everything like that. And then it's all been wiped out and he's gone. And I don't want to really bring everyone down, but I just wanted to say there's a GoFundMe and I'm going to link it because, um, yeah, 
what they're facing is awful. Money can't bring him back, you know, but it can take away some of the worries of how she's going to provide for them four kids on her own, you know. So, yeah, that's I didn't want to bring it right down, but I did want to mention it because I just think it's really important and it happened like right there. And so, yeah, it really is awful, like, at the minute, thinking, oh, my gosh, you don't ever expect... Especially since I've lived here, it's, it's it's so quiet normally and that. Like, yeah, you have kids playing out and things, but not trouble. And then, yeah, something like this happens. And, um, yeah, it makes you stop and think how lucky we all are because we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. But, yeah, I just thought I'd mention that and link it down below because... Um, yeah, it's just terrible. Anyway, I'm sorry to leave you on that note, but um, yeah, it, I do think it's important. And um, I'll be back. Thank you for coming back for part three, where we've finished the outside and that. And yeah, I'll be back doing some bits and bobs um, in this journal next time. I love you loads. Thank you all for so much for coming and watching i really do love and appreciate you all i will get round to comments from the last two videos to reply in but as you know i've i've been asleep all week <laughs> and um so yeah i haven't got round to anything yet but i will do because i do love you all and i do appreciate everyone that comments and that I, it um and I do try and reply to you all. So, yeah, I'll see you very soon. I love you all loads. Take care. Bye for now.